I tried to brace myself by putting my wrist up on the seat and it bent my wrist back and it fractured my wrist. I hit my right temple on the hard part of the top seat and I have a minor concussion. And I fractured Police say a Central Indiana school bus driver drove her bus off the road on the way to school and then failed to report the accident. And tonight we're hearing from one student who was on that bus and is now recovering from his injuries. Good evening, I'm John Stair. And I'm Andrea Moorhead. Investigators tell us tonight that driver may have been under the influence at the time. Now it all took place in Hamilton County. An Eyewitness News reporter David McAnally says the district may not have known about it if the students didn't turn in their driver. As usual, the bus driver's day began behind the steering wheel. It ended behind bars. The tire marks the rutted field tell part of the story. Taylor Miller tells the rest. It was very scary. We came flying down this road right here. Going into the curve, police say the Hamilton Heights school bus was going over 40 miles an hour. We came down here, she slammed on her brakes about right here to take that turn, and I hit my temple right here on the on the window. I'm watching TV and I hear a crash and kind of a bam and our power went out. Dawn Deering ran outside and saw what police report too. School bus number eight with longtime driver Janet Shaw in the driver's seat had left the road. It hit a steel utility pole guy wire damaging a transformer. The bus had minor front end and lower side damage. Students weren't seriously hurt but Taylor Miller. And then once we slid down and hit that power line right there I hit my shoulder and then I fractured my wrist, hitting, trying to brace myself, stop, and it bent my wrist back. But police say driver Janet Shaw wasn't done yet. Instead of calling police and the school... The was, only word she said the whole ride was, we might have to be pulled out. But instead, she just pulled into the field, pulled right out over here. And when I saw the bus, you know, you just kind of panic and, oh, dear. On the bus, students with cell phones were calling parents who called the school. When Shaw pulled in, school officials were waiting. We're incredibly disappointed that um, an employee would choose to take what we consider very precious cargo and, and, and haul them while um, intoxicated. Shaw charged with driving intoxicated and having a controlled substance. Face was pale. She didn't look normal. For Taylor's dad. I just think that's a very sad situation. Um, I just can't believe that somebody would do that and get behind the bus, um, you know, under the care of children. That's just not right. The driver's husband told Eyewitness News she was taking medicine for back problems. Back to you. All right, David McNally reporting live tonight. Thank you.